Praise the Lord. Glory to his name. Glorify him continually. He's worthy of our praise. Today we are going to read Philippians chapter 3 verse 13. Philippians chapter 3 verse 13. Brethren, I do not count myself to have apprehended, but one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to those things which are ahead. I press towards the goal for the price of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Are you a Christian? As a matter of fact, I am talking almost exclusively to Christians, except you want to become one. Because what I want to talk about is the matter of heading towards heaven. And you cannot be heading towards heaven if you are not a Christian. So if you are not born again, this is your opportunity. Become born again. How do you become born again? Ask God to forgive you. And ask him to accept you. If you do, Jesus will come to you. And you will be born again. But that's the matter for another time. For now, we are looking at those who are aspiring towards heaven. Are you aspiring towards heaven? Do you put in every effort to do it? We fell along the line. We fell in so many things. We fall and rise. But then, as you go along, the fallings should be lower than the periods that you are up. If initially you used to fall a hundred times in a year and wake up the hundred times, after a couple of years, you should be able to fall ten times and wake up ten times and stand much more longer than when you are falling. If you are moving towards the goal of the upward call of Jesus Christ, what do you do? You don't keep falling. Rather, you learn to stand. It is time to learn to stand. So many things would make us fall. So many things have made us fall. Severally. But it is time not to keep falling. You can't keep falling every day and say, Righteous man falls seven times and rises seven times. Is it seven times in one day? Or is it seven times in a lifetime? How many times are you falling your own? Cut it off. Let's learn not to keep falling, but learn to keep standing and pursuing after the goal. Paul said at the point, I beat myself thoroughly. And because I beat myself, I learned to discipline myself to pursue the goal. What is the goal? The upward call of Jesus Christ. The heavenly home. Are you aspiring towards heaven? What is the need or the reason for your Christianity? Some of us are Christians so that we will be healed. Some of us are Christians so that God will do wonderful things for us and promote us in our offices. Boy, that is not Christianity at all. That is the Christianity of bread and butter. And it does not exist in the scripture. Christianity is about heaven. Yes, the things will happen for you on earth. Jesus said, whoever comes to me, I will reward him a hundredfold on earth. But after that, eternal life. The ultimate goal is eternal life. Now, there are those who have read this passage and brought out a theology that is not related to the passage. And what is that? That you have to keep fighting and keep fighting. You never know when it will be. No, that's not true. Because at a point, Paul made a declaration. I have finished the fight. I have completed my race. The only thing left for me is a crown of glory. Which means he had finished all of the fightings. He had overcome everything. That is where we are aspiring to. To be in this world and overcome everything. To be in this world and live unto Christ. And be like him, as the scripture says. As he is in heaven, so are we in this world. That is the purpose of this thing. So that you fight to get to that position. Paul got there in this world. He said, I've finished the fight. I've completed my race. I have done everything that I ought to do. I'm no longer rising. I'm falling. I have been approved of by God. Would you get to that point in your life? Or you think that you can only get to that point on your dead bed? No, you have to do it while still alive. It is time to look forward to heaven. And to fight to arrive there. What do I mean fight? Fight yourself. I'm not talking about fight the devil. Fight yourself. Fight the things that bring you down. We all know the things that bring us down. We know the areas in which we are weak. We have to be able to stand up with strength. God supplies strength. You know what the scripture says? I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Strength in every aspect of life. That is why Jesus died. That we can be strengthened towards God. 
strengthened in the things of God, doing the things that God would require that we do. Let this day be a day that you make a commitment to God. I want to live right. I don't want to keep falling again. I want to move in your direction. I don't want to go in the direction of evil continually. I don't want to be the one that is daily repenting, asking for forgiveness every moment. I want to get to that point as Paul did. I don't know how many years it took him to arrive at the point of saying, I've finished everything. My desire is that we can get there even sooner than he did. Because anyway, whatever one person achieved, another person can do better than that. If you are following an example, you should do better than the person who led the example. I ought to do better than Paul. You ought to do better than me if I was able to do better than Paul. But what if I failed? That means I fell unto myself. It is time to turn around. It is time to grasp the things of God with two hands and say, I am heading up towards the call of Jesus Christ, the ultimate call. I want to get to heaven and live in a mansion. There are mansions there. If you have such desire, change your style. Don't think that it, will, it has to be failure and failure and failure. There has to be an end to the failure. Paul declared it. I have completed everything. I pray that you may be able to complete it. Father, in the name of Jesus, help us. Help everyone who has this desire in his or her heart to move above the mundane things of this world and to look up to you. Yes, we live in this world, but we are not of the world. Help us to remember that our primary focus is for heaven. That our direction of journey is heaven. The ultimate point is heaven. And in heaven there are hierarchies. Help us to from now desire to make it to the top in heaven. And live unto such a life. Thank you for every change that we'll be able to do by you. For we cannot bring the change by ourselves. For you see the heart that is yielded towards you. You see the one that is willing to go along with you. Lift him up. Carry him aloft. And may he achieve the crown of righteousness. The five crowns of life. In Jesus name. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Rest and abide with you now and forevermore. Amen. Amen.